All right, so we're gonna be going over the Automatic Rifleman 101st Airborne. Ryan, can you tell us about your kit and your weapon? Well, this is a 1918 A2 Browning Automatic Rifle, BAR for short, uh, as far as 20 round magazines. Well, this one here is an airsoft, but in the, during World War II, it was it fired 20 round 30-06 magazines, and it's gas powered, fully automatic only. Um, some BARs had a bipod, and others didn't, also the carrying handle too, but this is the A2 model, so this one does. Um, it's the maximum effective range with the bipod is about 800 meters or so. So this is a 506, 101st, same thing as Band of Brothers, basically. So on my, my version, I put, I sew on pockets on my shoulders right here. And also what other, the other paratroopers didn't talk about were the reinforcement pads here, which basically don't do anything, but it looks freaking cool still either way. <laughs> but it actually is really important to have BAR gunner uh, or automatic rifleman in your squad. Because it basically gives you fire superiority over the enemy, especially when you're moving on them. And you know, the Germans have MG42s and stuff like this. So the BAR plays a really important role in the infantry rifleman squad. Yeah, it was that or either the 1919. But... Yeah, the 30 cal, yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah, other than that, I have a BAR loadout, first aid kit, shovel, canteen, use that bag. Um, for my first aid, I have my first aid kit on my head because they're in the 506, basically, everyone just did their own thing. So. That was actually a very popular way of running first aid packet uh, with a few uh, battalions, but specifically the 506. Well, that covers the automatic rifle. Thank you guys for watching.